no matter how wild somebody may think it is or how outlandish someone else may think it is, that's just because they're... So you never let somebody else's narrow-minded ideas about who you are affect what you do in this world. Yeah. Um, one of the things that was beautiful with Freedom Riders and the whole Freedom Riders movement, and, and this is what I did after we filmed and continue to do, is the theme of Freedom Riders was tell your story. You know, you never know how it can affect the next person. And so many times we get caught up in, you get caught up in what you see on the outside, or you get caught up in mm -hmm. what someone deems, or you know, this the, the natural prejudices that we have against people and others, and not knowing what's really going on truly inside. Mm -hmm. And and you may see somebody smiling all the time, but really deep down inside, they're hurting, and need that you know that positive thing. That's one thing somebody could, well, every everybody would say about me is I, I carry the positive energy with everything. Like I I don't have to, it don't have to be me getting the my boy is getting this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I go. You know what I'm saying? I'm rooting my people on. Like, uh, your accomplishment is my accomplishment. Yeah. Your win is my win. Just like my win is your win. Like, the, the fact that you can do this and do what you love to do, and you can probably potentially change your life and your family's life and generation to generation, you know, you create these things for, like, what? How I'm not going speak up on my on my man. I'm not gonna speak up on my woman like, yo, you good, yo, like you killing it, keep going. <laughs> keep going. And that's something that is big in this industry. Like the 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 persistence. Yeah. You know, because this industry you're gonna hear twenty thousand times more no's than you hear the yes. How do you navigate those no's, right? Like yeah. those those low moments in your career where you're like, I'm not getting anything right. right? Whether I know it's not callbacks anymore, yeah. but Whatever that, whatever that no yeah. is. Um, you know, it's it, it's a, it's a tough thing to navigate. Uh, yeah. I think it's not easy, but you just kind of got to either find something within you yeah. that know what you got. Yeah. What do you say to yourself? What is that positive? The positive thing I would say to about? myself is, you got this. Yeah. Like, that person didn't recognize it because they weren't ready to, re they weren't ready to receive it. That don't mean that this is not a good thing or this project <laughs> isn't popping. They weren't ready. And it's okay because timing is everything. So yeah. if you truly believe in your project, if you truly have put in the work and the time and the effort to, to maximize everything you can in that, yeah. it only takes that one yes. That's something that Mr. Perry spoke about with his play that the last one we did, the farewell play. And, and it says, one yes from God. But that's all you need is that one yes. You're going to get a thousand no's because people don't want to listen. They don't even understand. Or sometimes when you're talking, they're just like thinking about whatever. Yeah. But you can go through every meeting. I, I was meeting with, even when I was searching for agencies, like meeting, 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 all the top agencies in the like meeting, 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 meeting. And then it was just no one. And with that one, I was working. So I went tripping. I'm just like, yo, let me get to the work. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, I'm inside. I don't need the big name. Like, I just need somebody to get me in the door. I yeah. do the rest. Yeah. You know, kind of thing. Just give me the opportunity. I'm going to go in there and show out. But in this industry, you got to have short term memory. Yeah. Short term memory is what you have to possess to continue to push on. Because um, Again, if you understand where you're at and you understand your purpose, yeah. you that determination, you got to ride that. You got to ride that belief. You got to ride that heart, you know, because sometimes he, God puts something on your heart and people are not going to get it. I mean, uh, I mean, I.E., Tyler Perry. I mean, come on. <laughs> the person I work for, that's why I've learned so much from just watching him and, and then being able to have conversations with him. And listen, and I, I again, I do a lot more listening than you know. I know I talk a lot today, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, it's good. But really, I do a lot of you know, I do a lot of listening um, when I'm in that space, you know, because he's been there before, and so I truly believe in you know somebody that's been there, done it. Like I'm a, uh huh. What you saying? What does? I need some paper. Okay. Okay, cool. I remember that. <laughs> you know, like, but, you know, I, I learn from my mentors. I learn from the people who's done it before me. I learn. I try to see what I can take. And I may not do exactly like him, but there's things, there's nuggets I can take from this man and his experience that I can kind of funnel through mine and maybe wiggle it like this for me because I'm who I am. 
I, I, I'm not the next Tyler Perry. I'm not the next. I'm not trying to be the next. I'm trying to be Deontay White. I'm trying to be the best Deontay I can be yeah. because I have learned and understand what my purpose is on this earth. So in, 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 in that, I try to learn from, yeah. from them in so many capacities and, and so many different spaces of what, they, what, that, what their journey is, you know, and it, it kind of just, you apply it, you learn to apply it. And, and for me, what I tell people, like, I focus on my weaknesses. Yeah. I don't focus on what I'm good at. I focus on what I suck at. Like, that's why I'd rather somebody say, you suck at this. So I'm like, all right, cool, thank you. And then I go try to figure out and learn it, study it, you know, do what I got to do to... Become you know, better. become better. Like yeah. a lot of people are scared of constructive criticism. They take offense to somebody saying that they wasn't good at something. Like, if you're going to be that sensitive, like this is not the industry for you. 